Hey guys, hello. So welcome back. So I told you about this top load SQL, right? Stimulus DUT, and this is the interface, and this is a test loop block. Okay. So why we need the interface to avoid the race round conditions, right? Between the stimulus and the DUT. So this much is clear, right? And you see there are three things I'm calling here: interface block I'm calling, DUT block I'm calling, and test load SQL dot I'm calling, right? So interface explained you, DUT explained you. This like this is what test load SQL. So this is a test load SQL it is calling, right? So these two things are clear. I think this is the only block which you are not knowing, right? This is the stimulus which you, you would use the module statements, right? Now I don't want to use the module statements. I want to use the system value environment, and this is nothing but the test block. Let's see. So this is nothing but your DRAM underscore TB. So you see this here, DRAM underscore TB. Okay, same same thing, TB, right? Now what I'm doing is I need to pass the in some information right so dram underscore interface dot tb nfc so same thing what i was doing in the duty side i am using the same interface here i am calling mod port of tb tb what is the mod port let's let's go there mod port mod port tb whatever was the inputs has become the outputs except the clock signal which will become which will remain as out clock otherwise whatever was the inputs will come output Whatever is the output will become input. Simple. This much you got it. Okay. So this is a stimulus file. I'm saying you. <laughs> Easy, right? Now you see, uh, uh, it is calling environment and configuration files. You see, this is it is calling environment and the configuration files. Uh, how it is calling environment and configuration files? What are the environment and configuration files? You see, this is the environment and this is the configuration. Right? I have created two different files for them environment and configuration okay and you see in the interface uh, i am calling handle infc right so because of these two files i am having so i will go through that uh, files which is great i just want to explain like how things are going right flow how things are flowing so i created the handles for the environment Right? Configuration config DRAM underscore environment environment. Then I'm using the initial begin end block. Right? What I'm doing is I'm creating here the memory. Okay, handle memory. Okay, and I am passing the arguments whatever must be there in the inside the configurations. Right? Here, here again I'm creating the memory for the. Here I was creating for the configuration. Here I'm creating the memory for the environment. And I am calling the task environment run. Okay, how these things are flowing down, I have not discussed. But just I have told you that this program is running. Let's correlate with the block diagram. You see, this is a, what I did was I described you the duty. What I did was I described you the interface. What I did was I described you the stimulus. Stimulus is the same way you are initializing in the top file, right? Now thing is. In the stimulus, instead of like module and end module, what I'm doing is I'm using the program block statements. In the program block statements, what I'm doing is I'm calling the environment, I'm calling the configuration. These two things which are highlighted. That's it. Done. Nothing else. In the environment, all things will be included. Okay. I'm not. I'm not making it like too elongated. I'm just making in the environment. I will calling. I will be creating these classes. Okay. But what needs to be driven is from the environment and the environment will be attached to the interface correct and configuration file is a separate file because I, I want to modify some things I will do it okay this much is clear okay this much is clear so then it, it makes sense right let's go to configuration file what is there in the configuration file right Let's go for the configuration file. I think I've done it since the last year. Here. What is there in the configuration file? You see, there are some enumeration data types, okay, and there is a class definition. That's it, nothing else. So, what are the enumeration data types? I'm saying command type, address type, data type, okay. So, why I'm using an initial data type here? Let me explain you. This is your DUT. This is a dual port RAM, right? 
so what what you had you had some data 0 in and you have some data 1 in you have some data 0 out and you have some data 1 out right so suppose the design uh, I want to create some flavors right so, so suppose ice cream can be of multiple types right? it can be of vanilla type okay it can be of mango type okay strawberry type so many types of ice creams right similarly I want to have a test case which can be of multiple types right I explain to this thing right so I want to say it's a burst read operation it's a write operation it's a burst write operation right so I'm not trying to make things very complicated, right? I will not go in details and say what is burst write and burst read. I'm just saying simple. So burst write means suppose uh, I will say like uh, uh, your data zero in and you, you're just going to allocate the memories, something like that, right? Continuously, right? So, so what is burst? Burst actually like suppose that something is clocked here, okay? You, uh, and then you just based on the positive age of clock, you're just going to allocate the memories, right? So suppose your address suppose is going from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and some particular memories will be allocated continuously, right? Uh, we don't uh, bother to ch check the data, right? Something like burst, right? Similarly, read and burst, right? But I'm trying to go for simple. So I'm saying that I could have this type of hypothetical situations. I could have burst read, burst write and I could have read write operations. So I'm saying command type, okay? Next is address type, data type. So this data zero in, data one in. There was something called as address. Okay, so address zero and address one, right? Hope you recall it. Address zero and address one. So address zero and address one. I'm saying that address zero. So it could be a random address. Okay, I could give a constant address all the time. Uh, I whatever I'm reading and writing, I'm just doing in one particular address, right? Constant address. Address could be incremental. Address could be decremental. <coughs> A user pattern address. So suppose something I'm reading at 30, then 40, then 50, and 60. User pattern. So this this type of scenarios have created. You see, this is a configuration file, right? How how you want to configure? So now this could be a combinations of these configurations. There could be a burst read with an incremental address type with a decremental data type. So how many combinations are possible? You see, three, three, and one, two. 3, 4, 5 in address type, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in data type. So 5 into 5, 25 and 3, 75. 75 combinations are possible here, right? So much big combinations for configurations. Some combinations are very relevant. You may not need to check all the things, right? You have to check like 5, 6 combinations. That's it. Good enough for you. So these are the class configurations. So you see, I'm declaring all these things as randoms. What are the, these things? I'm creating command type i am creating so this is a type uh, this is the user time user defined data type right command type is a user defined data type type that defines for user defined data type right user defined data type so instead of declaring everything as enumeration again and again right so what i did was type type i used so this is a type type no random so it's like a saying that this uh, variable is a random variable right so so like dollar u random right when you will use that syntax this uh, this this will auto automatically pick up from bus read to bus write or read write automatically it will pick up it's random right you could assign a particular value also but if you don't assign it dollar u random is supposed to be used then automatically it will pick up anyway now there's a random address type random data types so i am doing for this then I am declaring a new variable in the class. This is a local variable. Number of transactions. How many transactions are done? And I am declaring tx data and dx address. And you see this 8 bits data and 6 bit address is matching to the DUT spec. Right? DUT has the 8 bit data and 6 bit address field. And you see this is the user data. Okay? So you see uh, 10, 200, 25. So these are the user data pattern. Right? You could use your own pattern. Right? <coughs> so I can I may use use the user pattern one user pattern directly from the configuration. I will tell you like how it is used, but I hope you are clear with the configuration file, right? It is just not it is just to create multiple flavors of what you want to do. Okay. okay. Hope you have done this much. 
will discuss further.